Okay, I just want to go over this one more time. If you go back to the sheet, okay, where we did the calculation, what should have happened is carbon dioxide is 50, and I'm going to actually make this bigger and bolder so you can read it. Carbon dioxide is actually 52% of the weight of baking soda, okay? So that means we should have lost 52% of the weight of our, uh, of our baking soda. So I'm going to go to class data, and I'm going to say, all right, well, the baking soda weighed 2.7 grams. So what would f the difference be? What would the weight loss be? Okay, so this is baking soda. Uh, I should say CO2 lost. What should the CO2 lost have weighed? All right, and so what we're going to do is we're going to calculate, multiply the grams of baking soda by, we should have lost 52% of the weight to come up with the new weight. All right, so what we're going to do is we're going to say, all right, we're actually, what we want to do is we're going to say, okay, so what should be lost is equals this times, and when we want to, we want to figure out how, how much 52% equals, so we're going to convert it back to a decimal, so it should be 0.52. Now, this is going to be the same for all of them. And I'm going to go, boom, all right? And so what we should have lost is we should have lost 1.4 grams. All right, let's drag this all the way down, see what we get. All right. Now, see, herein lies the problem. You see this one here? That's pretty much the only one that got, they got, the, the, those are pretty much the only people who got it right. Okay, the rest of these are way, way, way off. All right. So there is a pretty heavy, there's a pretty big different mistake in most of this data. Um, this guy here didn't do too bad. These people here at least were in the right ballpark. These guys here were close to being perfect. All right. But for the most part, we got pretty big differences, okay? This was the difference, and this is what we thought we should have lost. So, all right, so we didn't do a very good job of weighing things, all right? Um, at some point, what you're going to do is you're going to calculate your percent um, error. All right, but what I want you to do is I want you guys to get the, to this point and figure out, okay, what was the weight we should have lost and what was the weight that we actually did. All right, um, this so this actually explains what's going on. All right, the next part of the lab we're going to do, an, I'm going to ask people to do an explanation of the error. All right, and that actually is going to be um, fun because you're going to be doing your own uh, calculations. What I would like you guys to do is go to this tab now, which is your personal tab. Okay, and this is Ashlyn's, okay, and she got 9.3, This is and this is what she wound up with. She's going to repeat the process, okay? So here what she wants to do is she wants to calculate the percent differences between what she expected and what she actually got, and then she's going to calculate um, the percent error. All right, so that's it for today, this project, and we're going to be moving on.